Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I still use junk on eBay. Today is a Wednesday and we got, I don't know how many orders going out. I should have looked. But anyways, quite a bit of orders going out today. Also, we are going to go make a, I think a fairly large purchase today. I'm not real sure. Got a whole bunch of hats. I think we're spending like $200 on hats. I know there's a bunch of records. There's an old telephone, some old jeans, who knows what else. But anyways, I will take you along for that deal. Let you see that process and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, today, what do we got going on? Today is Wednesday, so we are shipping. Yesterday, I finally got that Amazon box sent off that I've been wanting to do for about a week. Got that done, sent off this morning, listed a box load of books. Actually, this box load already sold one thing out of there. God, I'm supposed to meet up with this text to me. I'll look at that in just a minute. But yeah, I actually sold a pamphlet out of there. Tomorrow, I got my person that photographs coming to do that again. I think I've got like... Five boxes of books for her and two drawer fulls of CDs. I've been thinking about these boxes of books, so I think I'm going to start doing it differently. I was topping them off before when they got low. I think I'm just going to start combining ones that are low now. The problem is if I do that, they're going to get out of order. So I'm going to have to like combine four with six at times and different things like that. And then they won't be in order because it'll be four, six, and five. And yeah. But I'm really thinking that's the best thing to do because when I don't fill up new boxes and I just bring whole Ikea bags full of books here to top them off, that process takes a lot of time. I think less time than it would take to find the correct box. And it just doesn't always end up getting done. I end up with just books everywhere, like these books up here that should have been put away three months ago and they never have. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. Just always when I'm photographing things, like my media, putting them in new containers and then combining containers as they sell down. Not sure if I wanna do that with my CDs, eventually combine CD one and CD two together. I don't know, but I'm gonna try it out with the books at least for now and see how that goes, see if I like it. If I like it, then I'll switch it to other stuff like my sewing machine boxes and my CDs and start doing things that way with everything I got instead of topping boxes off, instead of always creating new ones, which I really like creating new ones. It's so much better. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what sold real quickly, but when I hit stop recording, I'm going to walk over here and trigger that light sensor so it doesn't shut off on us today. Yeah, so let's do that. All right, light sensor has been triggered. Here's the stuff that needs to put away. But here's the, some of the stuff that sold on the floor. We got one wall sconch that's going out. This is the base off of a sewing machine. I broke that into three parts. There's only one part left after a couple months. So that one's been really good. And also this little nitrous bottle for a motorcycle. That sold. I guess you could use it on a car, but it's not too big. That sold. Somebody bought that once. They bought it Friday morning. They're like, I'll pay you as soon as I get off work on Friday. And then totally ghosted me afterwards. But, oh well. I, I don't worry about that stuff too much. Because if it's a good product, it will eventually sell anyways. We got some CDs. Tenas Time. Got one DVD set. I thought this would sell in January, but it went ahead and sold now. Ripped 90 Fit. Plyometric Training. Some more CDs, Tyler Bryant, Wild Child, and Juju Club, Hey. I think that's it for the CDs in here. I do have quite a few CDs at home because I got a whole drawer that I have not brought yet. Not whole drawer, whole three drawer section. There's some 78s at home. I'm listing 20 78s a day right now. Oh, and there's also a motorcycle part at home. It's like a big, it's the primary cover. That sold for like 80 bucks. We got these old Adobe type guides up here. I should never have listed these. Bad decision. It was part of a bulk buy. It was back when I was listing anything for $4.50 plus shipping. I'd be lucky to get a dollar out of these. <laughs> They're going international, believe it or not, which is crazy. Some sewing machine parts. We got a little screen here. Bobbin winder. Um, little slide plate, bobbin plate thing. And another one of these covers off of an old Model 15. I think that's the second one of that same part I sold in the last week. Here's a little pamphlet for your civil defense. Listed this this morning and it sold right away. Maybe underpriced it. I really didn't want to look it up. Listed it for 15 and had a bunch of other pamphlets in here. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Somebody got a good deal there. I didn't even know those other pamphlets were in there, but I had this in with my boats and my person that takes pictures listed it, or not listed it, but took pictures. And I was like, whoa. But yeah, $15, I'm very happy. Here's a little belt buckle with a J on it. Another sewing machine part, sewing machine foot pedal, 
one Game Boy game. Unfortunately, this is missing the little battery cover here. Star Wars Episode One Racer. It's had like the little rumble in it. And one more CD, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. So let's go to the other storage unit and see what's down there. All right, so here's everything else. Also, I just read that text message from the guy I'm going to buy from. He wants two Red Bulls, so I'll stop and get them for him. Is that a business expense? Can you deduct that? I don't know. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? Here we go. We got one little bear here. With the lapel pins, got the joints moved, pretty cool. That sold, I'll put that in my pocket like I usually do with these pins so they don't get lost. CD, we got Pole Rule, Carthy Cisco Rugged Road, Roan County Ramblers, I mentioned that word Ramblers before, and also, I believe this is a Yazoo. Oh, this one's not a Yazoo, Never mind. Ramblers, a lot of times worth looking up. And then we've got Armstrong, Dick the Lionhearted. So those are the CDs we got. One of these tapestry vests going out. I listed a lot of these last year. They're like size small, so they're selling really slowly, but they are selling good. Fall and winter is much better for them. This yearbook, a person has a question about, so I'm gonna take it home and look it up. They just wanna know, are they in it? They're having a hard time remembering years, which that is what it is, no big deal. And then I sold two yearbooks to another person for $27 a piece. I think I had them listed at 30 and we did 2% off, so yeah. That is it today. So we are now going to go show you everything that I buy, show you that deal, and then uh, what else we got? Oh, I'll show you how to ship something. I don't know what, but we'll ship something today. Let's go do that. Okay, so we got some hats here. How many hats we got? 210. 210. Most of these are new? All new. All new? 50 vintage hats. They're like OC and different things. We got some Nike visors. All new. New tags. The 50 vintage ones are down there. The, the 50 older ones. older ones that are bad shape, but actually some good stuff in here probably. That looks pretty cool, but dirty. So what do we want on the hats? Cause that was a separate deal. That was your buddy. 200. 200 on the hats. It wasn't sewing machine his too? 30. 30. Okay, so let's do that first. And two he threw in the, he threw in the- uh, Is there pants here? Yeah, yeah, the baseball clothes. Baseball pants, 230, okay. I think I can do these. These are not my favorite hats in the world by any means, but there's so much here. I like these bins too. <laughs> the bins are yours. The bins are mine. 230. Yeah, let's just do that. This will be multi quantity listings. Very slow sellers, but in 18 months, I'll have my money back. There's about 40 Nikes in there. Those are cool. Yeah, there's some dealing kits all style. Maybe. Probably like 12, 15 different listings for you to make. Okay, that'll be good. Vintage all right. Shirt, uh, so this is the next deal, right? Yeah. Vintage clothing. The Versace bag, 30, 40. Okay. The UNC vintage tag, foot locker. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Pretty cool. UNC always popular, vintage, whatever. This is very cool. I'll tag this, I'll give a screenshot of that tag. That's very cool. That's in style. Pacific Trail, Pacific Trail. And uh, watching your sold. videos, I saw all these big books are books with sleeves. Watching your videos, I learned to say books with sleeves. We got a lot of art books here. These are all yearbooks. How many yearbooks did you have? I didn't even count. Well, I knew it was 10, at least. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14. 15 yearbooks. That's not bad. I sold two yearbooks today, or yesterday. I've never came across one of these. Is this is old car phone? No. no. Coleco. Oh, games. ColecoVision. Yeah. Box on Do we have games on this? No, I don't know. Oh, I didn't find any games. No games. Just two controllers. Probably doesn't work. Probably for parts, so that's all right. You got your 62 vinyls with very... Upstairs, these are supposed to be good. Very different artists. I've never seen most of these. You ever seen Billy Joel? <laughs> I've seen Jackson, Joel, and David uh, Bowie. You know I think we got some good stuff here. Actually. I would look for autographs once you're perfect, bro, just to be sure. That's possible. This person was a collector. We can tell that by some other stuff. Journey. How do they look inside? Not bad. Not great. What are you looking for? Scratches. Make sure they're in good shape. I don't know what Cuphead is, but it's 20 bucks. More books. Art books. All Chicken soup for the soul. I had to throw that one in. I love that. Come on. All sleeve, though. I just kept the one. Okay, okay, sleeves. okay. That might be trash. Those are all that. screenshotted at 10 bucks on the toys. Got some toys. I mean, 10 bucks and up or whatever. $10 and up, you think? Vintage BSA belt buckle. Got a needle? Oh, yeah. 
Okay. That looks good. Never seen anything like that. 245 black and white World War II era photos. Okay. We'll look through that. G.I. Joe. Uh, He's cherry picked these, he told me earlier. He already got all the war well, stuff. Yeah. Up. That's fine. The G.I. Joe something, whatever it is. What's in this bag? bag? Small toys. 1950s, it looked like. Interesting. 1950s shoe shine box. I actually like that. 50 yeah. to 80 bucks. That's pretty cool. This is G.I. Joe Jeep Beach Cruiser. I've never seen that. That was like 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. 1993 on those toys, whatever. They're older. Here are your red lines. You got your four 1960s, and this Tonka is 1963, Man. I think. Condition on these. Wish they were good. This would have been some money. Hard to like the sewing machine. It'll be some money. Here's your Scotty AV 3000. Those do mask. great. You uh, can't sell those right away. Every time you list those, it takes like a couple days for eBay to. Don't worry about that. They'll get it up there. Uh, they sell from 50 to 30, but it's an easy 80. Two 1960s, tin kazoo toy. What is this? I think it's a 1930s hair curler or something like that. Huh. It's really old. I think it's a hair curler. Pretty neat. Your 80s V8 cassette uh, cassette tapes. Two 1950s bobblehead Pro Novelty. Oh, oh man, he lost about What's half that? its value. These clothes, I got excited when I saw these at first, but they're all more modern stuff. It's like. Motley Crue, Kiss, Star Wars. We got some all over prints, but it's modern. I thought we had like $5,000 there for a minute. I didn't need that up. Yeah, we just found this a second ago. 30 second comic? This is the, uh, I guess he was a comic artist. He tagged it 1992 on most of them, so it's pretty good art. No idea what's going on here. Who knows what it's worth. This could be but nothing, or this could that's be. That's a pretty good art. He's really right? good. That's He's good. good. I don't know. We'll look that up. He's good. So it's a toy money. case, really shot, but it's there. Are any of the cars in there or no? No, I didn't look at them. Darn. Oh, it's like kidding. I've never heard of Arizona Highways, but look, it's a at magazine. That. look at that magazine cover. 1972. I can sell those. Yeah, I've never that. seen this. I couldn't Google screenshot it. It's a radio, but that's a 1960s uniform. Okay. It's a radio. That's cool. Let's see. Big Man, Little Man, Fire King, Walkman. There's only one other of this band on eBay right now. So this guy had this framed. So probably take it out of that super frame. Super small artist. There's Maybe. about 60 or 70 of these small cookbooks that you like. Okay. You said if there's a big lot you like. Yeah, I can handle this. 70s. But here are the bigger ones. I think there's about 50 or 60. Of them. Very cool. Very cool uh, topic. Uh, we'll see okay. if there's anything good in there or not. There'll be something to list for sure. Got your eight pairs of vintage jeans. You got your orange tab. Wranglers. Lee, I think. Lee's. Wish they were all this. It would make me much happier. Uh, that's a 1964 uh, Twister. But the whole thing there. It's like it's it's I've never seen that before. One DVD, a stack of CDs. Oh, vintage uh, patterns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your uh, four silver notes and your five ounces of silver. This Anton family, this is from Oklahoma City, but they are on yeah, we eBay. Looked these up. These they're all like 30 good. $40 range for their albums, but I reckon this one's sealed in here. You think that one's sealed? I reckon it is. And this one's signed, signed also. So that's very cool. I Google screenshotted that one. I think that album yeah, you was showed like 40, me that one. 50 bucks. This is actually the back of the album they have for Is that what it is? I yeah. have no idea. Now, I wonder if that's one of the members or something there. It has to be something, right? That's kind of neat. I'll leave that with it. Here's I might leave that one framed then. I don't know. Your two dollhouse uh, furniture sets. Dollhouse furniture. Your These are cool. Tech decks. Man, those are cool. Hopefully those are older. We'll take a look later. That's a G.I. Joe carrier. I think he's a good little bit of money. You know what year he is? I looked it up. I don't remember. Let's see if I can find it. I don't see anything. I don't know what that is. The other one listed is 249. Like it says it's cracked on their listing. The yeah. other one it says rare, and oh. some have sold between two and three hundred. So, oh, and it says rare on most of the listings. It's not too big; you can't ship, but it's close. Here's your hundred dollar. I mean, I mean your hundred year old phone, hundred dollar. Yeah, we've been looking at this clock. Hundred year old phone. Western Electric, made in USA, patents applied for. It's the kind that they didn't have even have. Keep the box. Patents yet. So yeah, I'm gonna put comps up on the screen. Everything's we're going through here. Hopefully you're seeing that. I think so. This is quality. 1980s Ford Light. Oh, the blanket. 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 Oh, the bl
kit. 80s Hot Wheels. Nothing special Star here. Star Wars toy. Star Wars toy. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Your vintage leather OU code. I know you've sold that one before. I have sold this one before. And your vintage uh, jersey. Sanderson. Sanderson hockey jersey. It's a good 80 bucks. This looks good too. This looks real. Okay. So what do you want for everything? That's the question here. We're doing 230 on that other stuff. What do you want for all this? I think you were uh, at eight. 800? I think so. All right, let me turn this off and think for a second. He's back. All right, we, we got it back up. He was saying 800 for everything, including this 230 over here we'd already done. So it's really 570 for all this. I can handle that. We'll do that good. That clock is a lot of money back. These records is a lot of money back. It's gonna be great. I got yearbooks, love yearbooks. So yeah, we'll do 570 and all the rest of this. Plus we got plenty of silver over here to set aside. I'm thinking those tech decks are gonna be good. I do not know yet. Oh, we didn't even show you this. A couple you pairs get, of jeans. Did you get the, close to that so you can see that? Dude, one? this is gonna be cool. You signed. These are gonna take a long time to sell. These three are gonna take a long time. There's not a big market on these like there is the other vinyl, but when they sell, they will be good money. And I'm taking them out of these frames. So I don't want to ship the frames. I think you might have $20 cookbooks in there. Some of them. Yeah, I think there's, some, I mean, this one's gonna they're be all, okay. They're, they're all labeled nice. Surely the rest, surely there's gonna be something in there. We got some photographs, which I have plenty of photographs at home, but. Do a big lot, right? more. It's possible there's a $100 book in here. Good clothing. So yeah, 570 on the rest, we can do that. Let's do that. Yeah.